Okay, can you guys hear? I think you can hear now. Can you hear? Let us know. Can you hear? Say something to us. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. Can you hear now? The sound is gone. I don't know why the sound is gone. Yes, you can hear us. Yes, all yes, right. yes. Okay. So did you all see the view? That we're in Estes Park. This is Nancy. Mm -hmm. And she is uh my bestie. Let's let's move over just a little bit. There you go. And so we are um we are here in Estes Park, and she is my special guest today. And um, so you all can hear. All right. Very good. Thumbs up. So I'm going to give this to her. I'm going to open in prayer. Welcome to Morning Manna, everybody. People are saying hi. Lisa's saying hi. And uh, okay. Very good. Very good. That's very good. All right. Beautiful scenery here in Estes Park. We're right on the river. Uh, mountains there. Elk. Gorgeous. And let me share this story about, you know, both Daves are here, Dave McDaniel and Pastor Dave. Is here. They're laughing in the background. So what happened? The lighting might not be the best, everyone, because we're on location, but we're doing our best. But um, a couple years ago, we were um, in downtown Estes mm -hmm. and we were parked along the side of the <laughs> side of the road. And Dave McDaniel was next to my David, Pastor David. And he was in the passenger seat and his window was down. And all of a sudden, this humongous elk pretty much stuck his head in, 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 like this. Yeah, in, in, in the window. And just freaked, freaked Dave right out. It was like a monster coming. I mean, the head on those things are so big. So anyway, we just had so much fun. So we brought it back. You know, uh, until that point, I wouldn't have believed that both Davids could be in the driver's seat. Take <laughs> a picture for us. Yeah, that was good. So anyway, we, <laughs> we just had so much fun. And of course, the elk were out and we were having fun with them on that because they were everywhere. We wanted them to come give them another kiss. So, Father, we just thank for everyone joining us today. Lord God, we thank you for the word in season. And we declare, Lord God, your kingdom come in this session, in this time of morning manna yes, as it is in heaven. And Lord God, morning manna, Lord, this is morning revelation. The nuggets that you give us daily, Lord God, that are fresh every day, that we don't have to depend on yesterday's revelation, Lord God. We get to upgrade daily, even minute by minute, Lord God, with the revelation and live in manna, yes. live in your revelation yes. every single moment of the day. So Father, I thank you for my precious friend, Nancy. I thank you for blessing her as she, Lord, delivers whatever's on her heart. Lord God, she showed up and now she's going to step in, Lord God, what you have on her heart. In Jesus' name. All right, Amen. sister, go for it. Amen. Well, you know, this weekend is a weekend that that we celebrate and refer to as Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Pentecost Sunday coming up. And so that's very much on my heart and on my mind. And as I share just a couple of thoughts, a couple of random thoughts with us today, um, I'm going to ask you to be expectant, Okay. Now, sometimes we put our hands out like this to be expectant, like, okay, I'm going to open my hands so you can just, Lord, you can just drop everything right in my hands. But let's hold our hands a little different. Let's hold them like this, like we're in the po position, the posture of reaching out and oh, taking care of something. I love that. Not yes. just like, oh, well, if it falls in my hands, hallelujah. But I'm going after it because yes, I so firmly believe that God has something for me. Is that all right? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. So so last night I, I picked up my Bible and I turned to this scripture. And this is some of uh, some of Jesus' last words in his earthly ministry to his followers as he was getting ready to be ascended to his father. He said, and I will send 
the fulfillment of the Father's promise to you. Wow. The fulfillment of the Father's promise to you. So stay here in the city or in the mountains. Yes. Until the mighty power of heaven falls upon you and wraps around you. Yes. I want to key in on that part that says, I will send the fulfillment of the Father's promise to you. And as I was looking at that and even looking at some of the translation notes of what uh, Jesus really meant as he was saying this, he wasn't just saying, I'm going to just send some random promises. There's some things that are on your heart. So I'm just going to send some random promises from the father to you. But he was talking about some very specific promises. He was talking about the promises that, that, had, have been in our hearts when we pray, oh Lord, let your kingdom come. Yes, God. Let your kingdom come and your will be done in earth as it already is in heaven. Those are the promises that right. he is releasing yes. to us, that he is yes. putting in our hands today, that we reach forward yes. to take hold of the promises of his kingdom, the promises that change everything. You know, when the promises of the kingdom come into our grasp, everything around everything. us changes. Everything. Our perception changes, our life changes, our level of favor changes, yes. Ooh, our provision changes, yes, our bodies change and respond yes. to healing and health. Woo! Everything changes. In fact, just since I've been in Colorado, uh, I have experienced what I believe is a healing. I've been struggling with, with uh, pain in, in some areas. Uh, I'll just tell you, it was in my feet where every day I just pressed through, but every day my feet would hurt just wow. this excruciating pain. And you know, I haven't had one foot pain Woo! since I've yes! been in Colorado. Woo! I told Dave that's about so that good. and he said, it's because you're stepping in, you're oh, stepping in. That's it. good. Yeah, and that's so good. I just take hold of that testimony and I release it. Yes, in you. Lord. you reach out and take hold of that I testimony that. for you yes, God, I as take well. That, Lord God. that testimony of healing, that testimony yes, of his kingdom coming into your life, into your very body wow. in fulfillment. So I've got a testimony, like just in a second. Uh -huh. And Nancy didn't know this. David knows this. But my left foot for weeks yeah. has been hurting horribly and wow. not knowing what has been the matter. And when you were talking about it, I thought, man, Lord, I could really use, you know, obviously in that moment, the pain left. Hallelujah. The pain is gone. Woo! I'm feeling it and wow. it is gone. So Whoa, that is so cool. Hallelujah. Well, those of you who are watching, check yourselves out. Yes. I believe Holy Ooh. Spirit is moving yes, through the airwaves God. right now, bringing healing. So just wow. reach out and take it into your body as you step in to the fulfillment yes, of Lord. the promises of his yes. kingdom. We so receive we it. Along with that, the fulfillment of the prom Father's promise is the keys of the kingdom. The key. What key do you need to in your hand that the Father has already Jesus. given you to unlock your future, to unlock the areas of destiny before you, or to unlock and break through the hindrances that stand between you and the fullness of promise that you can see just wow. beyond that hindrance. Wow. Right now, yes. today, yes. expect it. Yes. Remember, we're not just holding our hands I love that. open saying, okay, <laughs> Jesus, if you want to drop a key in my hand, I've got my hands open. But reach out expecting there's a key in front of you. Take hold of it yes. and unlock every hindrance and step into the fullness of every yes, promise Lord. that the father has That's given right. you. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, I God. believe there's some testimonies yes. over here yes. being shared yes, right now. Lord Jesus. Uh, Judy, we just see that we celebrate yes, with God. you the fullness of healing in your yes, body. Yes, in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, as I said, that this is the, the time of 
Pentecost. Yes, it is. And oh, this is fun. Something that takes place <laughs> um, and and between first fruits and Pentecost is what is called the counting of the Omer. Now, to my Jewish friends, I don't have all the details on this, okay? <laughs> so I'm just walking in it the best I can. But in the counting of the Omar, part of that was, was a wave offering. Wave. Bless the name of the Lord. That's one. Hallelujah, for you reign forever. That's two. So this morning, as <laughs> I was taking a shower, I was thinking about the counting of the Omer. So I started counting. I'm in the shower, you know, washing my hair. And I say, hallelujah, Lord, you reign. That's one. Bless you, Lord, for all your benefits. That's two. Lord, I thank you for your healing. That's three. And I'm just giving praise after praise after praise. And I'm counting those yes. praises. I get up into the mid thirties in my, it was a long shower. Okay. It was. I kept hearing the water running and I go, is she okay up there? Yeah. Well, when you, when you count the Omer in the shower, you get a longer shower than everybody else. As long as the hot water holds out, you can keep counting. So I get up into 30 something counting the Omer and all of a sudden a fire alarm goes off. Yes. And I thought, I'm not even finished counting yet. <laughs> and here it comes. Woo! Here comes the fire. That's right. So I just encourage you between now and, you know, we, we think of Pentecost as Sunday. We in, in, in many Christian churches think of Pentecost as Pentecost Sunday. And so for me, I want to be counting the Omer between now and Sunday. Yes. So just Ooh. count your blessings. You know, there's an yes. old song, count your blessings. That's Name right. them one by one. That's right. That's counting the Omer. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for healing my body. Yes, Thank you, Lord, Lord, that you're going yes, to give me that Lord. breakthrough. Thank you, Lord, that my prodigal son <laughs> is that. coming in. Thank you, Lord, that provision is just around That's the corner. Right. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done in the past. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing today. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing tomorrow. And thank you for all that I am expectant of as I reach out to take hold of the fullness yes, that comes yes, at God. Pentecost. Amen. You know, that Amen. is so awesome. You know, um, Sandra just said, I love it. She said, uh, in other words, positioning ourselves and always being in a catcher stance. Ooh, yeah. So you're in a catcher stance. And I don't know if Blake and Katie are watching, but absolutely they get that. You know, of course, he's a pitcher. But being in a catcher stance, always ready to catch and, and take, take what God is sending sending our way. Now with that fire alarm that went off, what I love about that too, is there was no reason for it. That's we right. were running around going, nobody lit nothing. The fire God. I mean, That's but right. it was the fire God. David was <laughs> opening doors and different things. There was no reason for it, except it was a, it was a sign and it was a wonder. And the Lord is, is, is bringing forth. He loves to meet with his children. Every single moment. And this last Sunday, you know, we were just, you know, basically minding our business and, and preaching and, and sharing things. And there were supernatural wonders that God was doing in nature to confirm his presence, to confirm mm -hmm. with us that he's always here. He's interested in every detail of our life. And it began to rain at a specific time where the windows of heaven were opening. And it was about the offering. It was about the tithe. And all of a sudden, boom, here it comes. And then as quick as it came, it lifted. And wow. then, then a thundering came in, just like on cue with what I was sharing. Just, it was like on cue, David had said something, boom, here comes a thunder. Yeah. And then, then once again, it did it again. There was another thundering saying, amen. You know, there was like an amen. Yeah. It, and I was talking about my dad going to heaven and, and I said, and he went to heaven and then right then, boom, there was this thunder. And so heaven and earth are in communion. Yes. You can't separate. There is a thin veil. It's not this long, 
you know, play, distance. There is no distance in the spirit of God. Right. And so um, it, it's about timelessness. It's seamless. You know, there is no differentiating between really this realm, heaven's realm. It, it really comes together and God is beginning to meet us in very unusual, beautiful ways, everyone. And, and that is our declaration over you, all of you. Amen. Go ahead. Do you have something else? Amen. Yeah, I just wanted to go back to that catcher's yes, stance, stance again. And and you mentioned how, of course, Blake is a pitcher. Yes. Well, I wonder what Blake would do if there was no catcher there. Yeah. Ah. He'd be standing there with the ball, ready to pitch the ball. He'd have all the ability, the power, and even the authority to release wow. that ball. Oh, good. He would have good, the fullness good, of the good. ball right there in his hand. But if there's no catcher there, he's going to hang on to that ball until wow. there's a catcher there. Now, the stadium may be yelling, pitch the ball, pitch. They probably, I'd Absolutely. probably be at the loudest one. Hey, pitcher, pitch it. Right. But he's not going to pitch it until there's somebody there to catch it. Wow, that's so good. Yeah. That, so ooh, we do. We yeah. position ourselves. Lord, yes, you've God. got the ball. Yes, We God. position ourselves now to yes, catch it. Yes, Lord. And yes, as, God. as, <laughs> as the, <laughs> as, as the, the cloud of witnesses is just up there shouting, pitch the ball, right? We right. Position ourselves now yes. to catch what you have to throw our way, yes, Lord, Lord God. and we will catch it. Yes. Oh, that is so good. In fact, you know, let's just do something fun. We're going to stand up. Everybody stand up where you're at. And we're going to position ourselves, everyone. Get in that position. The guys are even standing up. Why don't you guys join us? How about if we have all the guys come over here? And I'm just going to. Now, you know, Dave was a catcher when he played. Oh, we're kidding. Okay, you guys stand behind us. All right, there you go. Can you see them back there? There they are. There's the, There they are. All right. All right, let's all get in that stance. So bend over. And just know that you're ready to yeah. get the big one right here. We just receive it, God. Yes. We yeah. receive yes. what you are yes. pitching our yes. way. Yes. We yes. catch it. Yes. We catch yes. it, Lord God. Right. We catch it. Right. And Father God, we declare in the name of Jesus. Dave McGanna, why don't you close this in prayer? Let me come over here. And mm. why don't you close this in prayer? All right. So receiver stance. We receive, Lord, what you have for us. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit that is upon us, Lord, to unlock, Lord, that wonder within us that says, Lord, unveil within us, God, the very possibilities of the kingdom today. Yes, Lord, as God. we stand strong and say, Lord, we are ready for you to pitch, to deliver, to release, we will receive what you have, yes, Lord, God. with open hands, Lord. And those open hands, Lord, will also signify letting it go and sharing it with others as well. So Father, we speak your anointing, a fresh fire of your anointing upon all of your servants today and say, Lord, let there be the blessing of your Pentecost spirit that comes Ooh. fresh and anew today. Oh, yeah. And that will be I there, are. Lord, and send yes. us into the very next place yes, that you have Lord. assigned yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, that is Amen. so good. Amen. All right. We had a blast today, everybody. We love you. And we will see you. Now, let me tell you, here's what's going on this weekend. This is why Pentecost weekend is so amazing. We have got, um, we've got tonight, which Nancy, share just a little bit about what's on your heart for tonight. Well, what's on my heart for tonight is uh, uh, awakening. We've been hearing a lot about awakening, about great awakening. And just a, a week or so ago, uh, the Holy Spirit just kind of arrested me. Uh, it wasn't an audible voice, only because if it had been an audible voice, I would have just passed out cold and missed what he said. <laughs> but he's, he's, and what, what I sensed him saying was, preach a five-fold awakening. Oh my gosh. And so as I press Isn't into that, that cool. that's what we're bringing is a five-fold awakening. But it's not just a sermon about awakening. Mm -hmm. He said, step into 
the role of apostle. Here we go. And release we go. the commissioning yes. of each person there into the fullness of the fivefold awakening for this hour. Is so it, it's a commissioning. That is hour. awesome. And yeah, then Sean, Sean Fout is coming in on uh, tomorrow in Boulder. He had to cancel a couple of weeks ago because of snow. So he's coming in to do an outreach uh, in Boulder. And then we have a tremendous uh, leadership training tomorrow afternoon. And then on Sunday, on Pentecost Sunday, do you want to share a little bit what you think God is putting on your heart or want it to be a surprise? Just, just one thing. We are entering a brand new time and this is the time of God's unlimited, extravagant resource. It's a release. Whoa, whoa. But we just we just prayed about the Lord sending it. We have to receive it. Sunday, I believe, will be the culmination of him releasing us into an extravagant place we've never been before. All the things that God has been waiting to do. Get ready. Here they come. Wow. So this is going to be a phenomenal weekend. Everything's culminating. Mario Murillo is in town doing a pastor leader uh, meeting in Colorado Springs. And a, a couple of Pastor Brooke and Pastor Crystal are going to that because we can't be at every place. But that's why we have many pastors. And so it's going to be wow, wow. Tonight we're going to be laying hands. This is going to be a physical impartation. If you can't come uh, online. Why don't you fly here? I mean, no, we're, we're, there's no distance in prayer, but we will be laying hands on every person in the place tonight to impart what Nancy is going to be um, speaking on. And we're also going to be sending it through the airwaves. So we love you all. God bless you. We will see you this weekend, either by video, by streaming, or we'll see you in person. God bless you.